Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Thomas Home Builder Show. Today we're moving inside, into the kitchen, and I've got a salmon recipe that I cook on the grill, and I think it is really extraordinary. Okay, so here is what you're gonna need. A third cup of soy sauce, a third cup of pure maple syrup, and there's so many different syrups to choose from. I know Michigan makes great syrup, but I have purchased the Vermont syrup. I just, uh, I don't know if it makes a real big deal or not, but that's what I buy. I really like it. And then some lemon. And here is the salmon filet that I bought. It is 0.67 pounds. And then a little bit of Weber zesty lemon seafood and chicken seasoning. And some mesquite wood chips. So right away what I like to do is get this salmon rinsed off and marinating and then uh, get the wood chips soaking. So let me show you how we go and do that. Okay first we'll make up the marinade and since this I don't really have like a really big salmon filet I'll just make up a third cup of Vermont syrup that may be more than I really need. And then a third cup of soy sauce. And yeah, it's taking a little while. All right, a little more, okay. Then I'll end up stirring that together. And then you take your salmon right here and then I just rinse it All right. under the water. I'll open it up here. All right, it's not a really big one. This is like a nice personal size. Actually, I'm gonna just have this for my lunch. And then I take and rinse it off real good. Yep like that. Rinse it off. Take some paper towel. Dry it off. Make sure there's no scaly stuff on it. And then I will put it yeah right in there. All right, let's zoom in on it a little bit. All right. And then I let this soak. It's just going to kind of stir together on its own. And I'll put the skin side up. And I'll let that soak as long as I can, which I would probably recommend at least an hour. All right, you want to take the mesquite wood chips and soak them for at least 30 minutes. All right, I just put some wood chips in my smoker box. It's a stainless steel smoker box. I can also, um, I've also used a foil pouch. I just happened to find this stainless steel box like a couple weeks ago, and it's only like six bucks. But you can take a foil pouch and roll it around, wrap it tight, poke holes in it, and that works pretty well too. That'll probably cook faster than this. This is going to take about 15 minutes before it smokes. So I don't really like to have too much wood in there. That way, um, if you have too much wood, it'll overpower, the, the, the smoke smell will overpower it. So I think just a small handful is a good amount. And this one I'm going to do right here, I'm going to use my Weber wide spatula to lift up the cooking grate. Throw the smoker box down there and I'm going to turn the grill on high. 15 minutes from now we'll have smoke. I will throw the fish on and we will be rolling. All right, it's time to get grilling. As you can see, the temperature is way up, 550. You open the grill, the smoker box right there, you can see some smoke rolling off of it. And I put this, I did a review on this earlier. Um, I have three different ways to oil the grill. This is chef great non-stick grill wipes. Yeah, that's really smoking pretty good. So I'm going to take the fish. I got my stopwatch. I'm going to put the skin side up for five minutes. Watch this. All right. Set my timer. Oh, got to reset it. Boom. All right. Let's go five minutes. And then after I flip it, as you can see, I've got some lemon slices here. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon on the top of it, and I'm going to give it five minutes. Oops. Skin side down. All right, 
Let's come back in five minutes. Okay, the salmon's been cooking almost five minutes, skin side up, and here I'm going to use the Weber spatula. I'm gonna flip it upside down. I'm gonna see how well this, uh, the stick mates work. I tried to clean the grill as best I could before um, putting the fish on there, so let's see how it goes. There it is, five minutes. And I've got the thick side to the outside. I probably should have had more to the inside, but that's all right. All right. There. Give it five minutes. Check it out. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of the fish. I think that just helps. And I like to just put a couple of lemon slices on top. I think it just gives a good flavor as it's cooking for the last five minutes. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. It's been going on 10 minutes. The fish has been cooking. Got the Weber grill spatula. The skin side is down, so I'm gonna scrape it off. Oh, look at that. All right, let me see if I can get a close up of this. All right, here we go. Use the spatula. Look at that. Slide it right off the skin. Right there. On the, on the plate, we're gonna just let, let's see what we got going on here. We got a little fire going on here. We're just gonna let that burn off. All right, All right let me zoom out. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, enjoy the fish.